Um, so when we launched New Cities, um, we, I'm like a numbers guy. Uh, like I said, this body is built for spreadsheets. Uh, so we, we do a lot of analysis on looking at um, what is the size of the population there to start with, uh, what, do, what a number of hotels, restaurants, catering companies exist there, um, what does the, the geographic layout look like? So is it a pop, is it a dense city where you know, we often find a lot of pros and businesses together? We then look at the labor regulations um, and, and see how labor friendly the market is. We look at the competitive landscape. Um, and, and a lot of times when competition is there, it's good for us because they've already educated the market some. We can kind of come in and win that. Um, then we look at current client relationships. So as we've grown, um, when we first started to launch new cities, it was more of a kind of a grassroots effort in each city. All right, let's go out and sell one hotel or one restaurant at a time. But now we have got these national relationships that uh, we can overlay that uh, list with and say, all right, um, like when we launched LA, uh, a, a partner of ours that uh, runs Dodger Stadium said, we really need you in LA. So we actually put LA in front of Austin and uh, had shifts there guaranteed for us immediately. So we kind of lay over that partner network as well. And then um, we provide a, a ranking of how good each one of those criteria is across the spreadsheet. And then you kind of add up that score and it kind of gives you an overall, this is what we think the opp opportunity is. And uh, we look for you know, going after the biggest opportunities where there's the most, um, I guess the least labor regulations and best competitive advantage for us to go into that market.